This is the checkerboard for multiplication with a three-digit multiplier doing mental calculations and recording partial products. So the problem we'll be working with is 2,748. I've recorded it on paper and with tiles. And the multiplier is 526. 526. So we have a hundredths place in the multiplier for this problem. That means we'll have a partial product from the units multiplier, a partial product from the tens place multiplier, and a partial product from the hundreds place multiplier. And we'll record each of those partial products as we do this work. So starting with the units place of the multiplier, eight taken six times. Eight taken six times is 48. 48 in the units place means eight units and four carried over to tens. Four tens taken six times. Four taken six times is 24 tens. That means four tens with two carried over to the hundreds place. Seven hundreds taken six times. Seven taken six times is 42 hundreds. Two in the hundreds place. Four gets carried over to thousands. Two taken six times. Thousands. Two taken six times is 12 thousands. Two gets recorded in the thousands place. One gets carried over to ten thousands. So I finished with my units place of the multiplier, but I'm going to simplify this partial product before I continue. So eight units is as simple as that can be. Four taken twice equals eight. So only one bead bar in each square. Two taken twice is four. Four plus two equals six. Six is what stays in the thousands place. And one ten thousand. This partial product is 16,488. And I'm going to record that starting with the units. Eight units. Eight tens. Four hundreds, six thousands, one ten thousand, sixteen thousand four hundred eighty eight. That's my first partial product. Okay, now I'm going to find my second partial product. That's the product of the tens place of the multiplier, two tens. So eight taken two times equals 16 tens. I'll record the six, carry one over to the next place value, which is hundreds. Four tens taken two times, four taken two times is eight in the hundreds place. Seven hundreds taken two tens times, seven taken two times is 14. And this is 14 thousands, which means four in the thousands place, one carried over to ten thousands. Two thousands taken two times, two taken two times is four, four ten thousands. Okay, I've multiplied everything by my tens place, but I'm going to simplify this partial product so there's only one bead bar in each square. So six is fine in the tens place. Eight plus one equals nine. Nine is in the hundreds place. Four is the only bead bar in that square. And four plus one is five. 
five will go into the ten thousandths place. So now I'm going to record this partial product, and there's something interesting about it. I have to think about what family I'm going to read. So this is 54,960, or six tens. There's no units place on this line. But when I record this partial product, I need to hold that units place. So the first number I'll record is in the units place. And because there isn't even a units place on this line, I'll hold that place with a zero. Six in the tens place. Nine in the hundreds place. I have to be careful to read the value of the bead bars and the place that they're in. So four is the value and the place is thousands. And five bead bars in the ten thousands place. And I want to record the comma which is where I say the family name, thousands, 54,960, which is what that says. So now I'm ready to multiply by the hundreds place of my multiplier. And because this first product, this first part of the product is going to be in the hundreds place, that reminds me that there are going to be zeros for tens and units when I record this product. Eight taken five times equals 40. 40 in the hundreds place. That means there's a zero in the hundreds place too. And four gets carried over. Four taken five times is 20. 20 thousands, that means I'll record a zero in the thousands place and carry two over to ten thousands. Seven taken five times is thirty-five. Thirty-five ten thousands. I'll record five in the ten thousands place, carry three to the hundred thousands place. Two taken five times is ten. Ten hundred thousands is a zero in the hundred thousand place, and one that's carried over, and this is the millions place. So before I can find out my final answer, I need to simplify this partial product. I'm finished with the hundreds place. There is a zero in the hundreds place, a four in the thousands place. 5 plus 2 equals 7 in the ten thousands place. Sometimes I put my finger there to remind me where I was working. Three hundred thousands, one million. So let's record this partial product. I'm going to read it first. This answer is actually going to have two commas. One right here, one million, 374,000, and that's it. So when I record this partial product, starting from the units place, I don't see any units. There are no units when I multiply by 100. So I'm going to hold the units place with a 0. There's no tens place, because when I multiply by 100, there's no tens place in the answer. I'll hold the tens place with a zero. And for this problem, there's actually no values in the hundreds place. So I'll hold the hundreds place with a zero. Four is the value. The place is thousands. So I'll record four in the thousands place. Seven is the value. The place 
is ten thousands. I'll record seven in the ten thousands place. Three is the value. The place is hundred thousands. I'll record three in the hundred thousands place. And one is the value, and the place is units of millions. I'll record one in the millions place. I'll read the answer again and put in my commas. One million. Three hundred seventy four thousand. And then zeros hold the rest of the places. To find my product, I will be adding all these partial products together. And on paper, I add down the columns. On the checkerboard, I slide the values diagonally. So here's units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, eight units, eight plus six equals fourteen tens, four stays in the tens place, one gets carried over to hundreds, nine plus one equals ten plus four equals fourteen hundreds, four in the hundreds place, one in the thousands place, Six plus four equals ten, plus four equals fourteen, plus one equals fifteen. Fifteen thousands. Five gets recorded in the thousands place. One carried to ten thousands. Seven plus five equals twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen ten thousands. Four is recorded in the ten thousandth place, one carried over to hundred thousands. Three plus one equals four, four hundred thousands, and one is the value for the millions place. So this is my final product. Let's read it and then we'll record it. One million. Four hundred forty five thousand four hundred forty eight. And then recording it, eight is in the units place, four in the tens place, four in the hundreds place. Five thousands, four ten thousands, four hundred thousands, one million, and my commas, one million, four hundred forty five. Thousand four hundred forty eight. One million four hundred forty five thousand four hundred forty eight. We can see that this work on paper really looks like the way we do multiplication abstractly. And for the child who's ready, she could check her answer by adding these columns on paper and then checking that answer against what she has on the checkerboard.